we've we've heard uh, in global news reports uh, about um, Minister Randy Boissonneau, uh and these reports have raised concerns with respect to Minister Boissonneau's, uh involvement with uh, Navis Group, which has lobbied the government, uh, the government for which he is a minister, um, and he received payments from that company during his time. This, of course, uh, raises questions under the Lobbying Act and the Conflict of Interest Act. With respect to Global Health Imports, this is a company that uh, Minister Randy Boissonneau co-founded. He owns 50% of the company through a, an Alberta-numbered company that he wholly owns, and he offered in his <laughs> evidence at the last committee meeting that he believed that uh, Stephen Anderson, his partner, uh, is the only other shareholder in that company, that they are, in fact, partners. Global News this past week released text messages that, uh, that refer to uh, a Randy uh, in the decision to uh, solicit a $500,000 uh, wire transfer. And this is now the subject of, of court proceedings. There are questions about fraud and wire fraud. And the minister... Uh, asserted to the committee that at this small company that he co-founded, uh, in spite of the fact that in these text messages um, there's talk of a partner call uh, and, uh, and, uh, and Randy, that it's another Randy, that he is not that Randy uh, at, at the company. And so <clears throat> it's important. Uh, we had the Conflict of Interest and Ethics Commissioner here who uh, testified that in spite of uh, having sent a letter previously saying uh, that uh, an investigation wouldn't be pursued, that new concerns, new questions had been raised, and uh, he would examine the matter and then uh, undertake a self-initiated investigation um, should, should that uh, need to occur. The lobbying commissioner is reviewing the matter, and of course, um, due to the, the potential for, uh, um, for criminal code violations and lobbying act violations, uh, the RCMP um, will uh, will have to review uh, review the issue to see if um, if criminal charges need to be pursued. Look, this uh, this motion um, is germane to the work that the committee uh, undertook at the last meeting. Uh, I think that we were all surprised by the reports in Global News. I think that uh, that that having these witnesses come forward uh, to to get clarity and uh, provide Canadians with assurances that all of the rules, specifically the ones um, whose commissioners uh, fall under the purview of this committee, uh, the Lobbying Commissioner and the Ethics Commissioner um, with respect to the Lobbying Act and the Conflict of Interest Act and the Conflict of Interest Code for, member, uh, for members, that um, all the rules have, have been followed, and if rules haven't been followed, um, then, uh, then uh, the committee and, and Canadians uh, would be aware of that and uh, look forward to uh, the expeditious passing of this motion so that we can get transparency for Canadians. Thank you.